All right, so I've recently uh, delivered uh, one of the 3D printers back here, so now I'm going to be going out and looking for some of the little crystals. Work with care. Reconnect the world. All right, so I have found that uh, walking through a, a bunch of these tags that players have put uh, aside or on the uh, in the world sometimes help BB or motivate BB. Alright, so I want to pick up... Weapons restrictions lifted. I want to pick up some of these chiral crystals that are out here. Again, I can just tap that uh, R1 button and you can see how it'll highlight some of those crystals. Uh, they say crystals come easiest or more frequently in areas with uh, with rain. Nice. So probably one more of these will be all I need. There we go. Well, I guess maybe it was going down, so I need one more set here. out there that are left behind. There's a metal hold the L1 button and highlight over. with me. Remember that's red, I should be able to get across. Now it's the it's not necessarily that there's no red. Um, it's the distance also that I have to be able to get across. So as I'm walking through the water you can see my stamina bar there and my stamina bar starts to go down so I need to, in the yellow, I'll hold the right and left analog and you can see how it's start, starting to slow, quickly go down so I'm going to let go in the blue and then you can see how I'll pretty much lose my grip here so i got to swim over to the side and wait for it to be shallow and then I've got my full stamina bar so I just need to walk back out uh, grab it with the left or right trigger, put it back. So it's not necessarily the fact that there's no um, like red inside that. You can see it's just I lose my stamina bar. Or I could even slip on some of uh, the wet rocks uh, that will cause that. So be careful when you're traversing across the water. Um, your stamina bar is also a factor to consider. I'll go back over here and try to pick these guys up. much more stable when I'm walking in between these rocks. Alright, so we're looking for chiral crystals. Sometimes you can see them uh, with the naked eye. Uh, so you can see one right there. So they're not too hard to pick up, which is, uh, is a nice thing. So it looks like I've got one straight across there. Yep, so i got chiral crystal right there. Survey the area here. Looks like there's some chiral crystal right there. One there, one there. So it's not too hard. I imagine if I hit this button here, it'll highlight the. Uh, I guess maybe not. This may be based on the distance away. But I can visually see them, so that's 
that's okay. So it seems like the overall speed at which the stamina bar decreases when you're traversing across water is part of the depth, uh, part of the speed at which the current is flowing. Alright, so I've got enough chiral crystals. Can I put more in this container? There we go. I am in the uh, time fall, so my containers are going to start to deteriorate. Uh, and one thing to consider as well, nice. um, the contents inside won't necessarily be damaged uh, by the time fall. It's the containers that, um, that are holding those contents that uh, are being destroyed. So. Once the containers are deteriorated to a point where the container is ruined, um, the contents inside are much more easily damaged. All right. So I had to pick up all of those chiral crystals and see here. Recycle crystals at the distribution center. Alright, so I take them back. So, so this, uh, this distribution center, I've actually spent a lot more time than I have at any other <clears throat> and again, I'm just playing uh, the, I guess, primary mission, the critical path. All right, so this current is pretty strong. There is some red there in the middle. We gotta be cautious of that. So I think I'll go up and around. There's a spot right up here where it narrows that I can cross the river. Or I could cross that again and lose some packages. The aura deck scanner. Um, one thing I've learned from uh, watching some other videos is as long as you don't turn left or right uh, or you're walking over some extremely heavy terrain, um, Sam shouldn't fall too much. But when you move the cursor to the left or right, you can see how he'll start to lose um, his balance. Now another thing I've been trying is if you move the camera yeah, yeah. slightly the direction that you want to go he won't turn as sharply so see I'm just kind of nudging the camera in a different direction left or right and that lets Sam turn but more of a shallow turn and he doesn't lose that forward momentum so instead of like, now I'm going to use the uh, the walking and the, that was the left analog stick, me turning left and you can see how Sam loses his um, his balance, but here I'm just using the camera very slightly. That seems to give him a little bit more stable balance uh, Keep it up. as he's turning. Keep it up. Gotten no likes yet. No one's used this ladder. That was from a previous episode.
lot of what makes Death Stranding compelling and worth your time is that you need to invest some time. Um, I found it very therapeutic to walk through some of these longer um, missions, picking up things, making sure that I take the correct path. 3D printing and setting up things that I can use and others can use. Exploring. There is so much space to explore. Um, at one point, I'd like to see if I can manage to get up along this ridge line, or even up that ridge line. If I could get to this point right up here, I'd like to know what's there. Is it possible? to get, even get up there. I'd like to know. Do I go over here uh, all the way to the left and find the the ridgeline's lowest point, climb up it, and then stay on top of the ridgeline and go all the way to the top there? I'd like to know if that's possible. Whether or not with ladders or, or ropes. But it's something I'm compelled to try. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. A couple of videos that I've made uh, in the past have used an editing software called the Share Factory. Um, I may try to do that a lot more. And, um, I don't know whether or not I've decided to use it in this video or if I'm just going to post this one. But obviously live streams, I can't do that. Uh, but the uh, Share Factory gives me the opportunity to just play the game silently but still add some um, written commentary. Leave in the description below uh, what you prefer or what seems to be the more enjoyable experience when you're watching some of these videos, whether or not you like a little bit of the uh, audio commentary or just letting the game speak for itself. Let the game do the walking for you on uh, being able to see what the game's all about uh, based on where an individual player is at. So, right, so I'm making delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Oh, recycle. Okay. This is something new that I haven't done yet. So I've made deliveries, uh, making deliveries based on lost cargo. Um, this one I'm recycling the chiral crystals. Yes, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to recycle all of it. And I guess this creates. Cargo shelf, amount owned. Okay, so cargo on the shelf. Okay, that's the shelf that I had. That the ones that I had carried on the back, then I moved over to the shelf, and then I took the ones that were from the shelf uh, to be recycled. as if the chiral crystals are the material that we use to 3D print, that we use to... I mean, there are some other, like resin, uh, chiral crystals, uh, some of the metals that I pick up. So chiral crystals seems to be another one of those resources that they use for... Uh, Benjamin Hancock's provided design data for the container repair spray. New interview. Oh, Bridges. Can you have added data for a new structure to the PCC? Uh, I can start to 
build the bridges. The amount of materials that can be used at the distribution center west of Navamont City has increased. A new option has been added, delivery claim materials. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. So I've, I'm about four hours into the game, and I'm finding new things that um, help me with my progression, help me with the game. Um, and some of the previous reviews that came out before the game was released just completely ignored a lot of this stuff as you get new items that make the game easier that allow you to experience new um, in, like I had encounters with the um, mules I had um, the ability to learn about towers the ability to learn about bridges the uh, strands uh, had you know learning about the BTs uh, almost every mission that I've had so far uh, has given me something new and I still haven't gotten to vehicles I haven't gotten into the more open areas I haven't uh, been delivering some of the different types of cargo um, you know and I've and I'll talk about it as I go here but um, there's been a review by BBC click that was the most dismissive even more than I think the IGN um, review was that gave it a 6.0 but both IGN and BBC Click are probably some of the most dismissive uh, looks at Death Stranding um, 10 minute video for IGN uh, I think it was a 4 minute and 29 second video for BBC Click um, and both of them are very and I'm using dismissive because they're dumbing down what the game is all about without doing a deeper dive or giving it a better, um, well-rounded perspective. They're, they're forcing a negative perspective without making it more well-rounded. Um, they're taking the base concepts of the game oh, I and this telling the viewer or the prospective customer, the prospective gamer, that the game is all about this and that's all that you have to do. So they don't talk about any of the um, abilities that you have to adjust your cargo, that kind of metagame that there is. Um, they don't talk about uh, some of the intricate story. They don't talk about um, the things that happen while you play. They just say it's a delivery game. And they dumb it down to that. And they dumb it down to there's long distances to walk. I mean, you could dumb down or make any game or anything sound mundane if all you do is you say, you do this, and then you do it again. Take Gran Turismo. I mean, a great game. But you could dumb it down and make it sound extremely mundane by just saying, Gran Turismo. You get in a car and drive around and then do it again. Lots and lots and lots of driving. And then put lots of driving. You get in another car. Uh, the other car has four wheels, just like the previous one. You get in the car and you drive around and you're trying to be faster than all the other cars. And then, guess what? You get to get in another car and drive around on a track and it's just lots and lots and lots of, guess what? driving now if I say it that way and somebody who hasn't maybe experienced a driving game are probably going to be a little off put hopefully that individual that's listening is a little more intelligent and takes the time to go out and check out the game themselves um, or if you take uh, BBC blink or you just or sorry BBC click um, or just BBC in general BBC covers random story, talks about it, then covers another random story and talks about it some more. Lots and lots and lots of talking. I mean, that's the laziest way to take a look at something or to give other people a perspective on things. 
Heck, let's, let's do some more. God of War. Lots and lots and lots of axe throwing. You walk around and throw an axe and let it come back to you. And then guess what you do? You walk around, throw an axe, wait for it to come back to you, and take care of a small child. And then walk around with your child and throw the axe again. Lots and lots and lots of chucking. If I said it that way and just threw in the the unnecessary sigh like BBC Click and IGN did and then just assume that everybody's just going to blindly accept that, you're going to get some people that are gullible enough to say, oh, okay, then yeah, that's what I thought too. I haven't played the game, but I'm just going to accept that uh, lazy description. And that's what, that's what you get out of uh, IGN and BBC Click and some other v reviews that just say the game is only about walk it's like a walking simulator and they stick to that and they focus about the entire uh, review like BBC Click did a 4 minute and 29 second video and that was it that's all they gave you I mean, how do you expect to cover a game uh, that is as unique as this by just saying you're delivering packages that might be the base concept of the game but they don't talk about anything else and then he says at the very end, the BBC Click reviewer, uh, he says, um, Death Stranding is boring, but Death Stranding is confusing, and he loves that it exists, which contradicts everything uh, that he says when he says he loves that it exists. I guess he loves that it exists because it's sort of one of those games that uh, allows developers. But, you know, if the reviewing community at large jumps on a game that is trying to do something unique and calls it mundane and boring, you're not going to get a lot of the high AAA developers to even attempt to do anything new and you're going to get more shooters. That's what you're going to get. I mean, because this game has no... <laughs> and I say the game has no loot boxes, has no microtransactions, but they'll try to jump onto something else to make it um, sort of this controversial topic to allow people to watch their videos. Anyway. Please give uh, Death Stranding your own look. It, that's what it requires. It requires your look. If what you see, um, and that's why I've made a couple of videos to where you can just watch the video and let the video do the talking for you, or do the walking for you, as I like to say. Um, and if it intrigues you, I highly recommend you getting a copy and trying it out for yourself. And uh, if you get it at GameStop, you could get it for full price and then play through it. And if you don't like it, um, return it for half price. At least it costs you less to try it out and you can get some of your money back or sell it to somebody that you know might want it for full price. Um... Let's see what was my mission. Alright. Oh, okay. Did I not pick up a... a mission? Picked up the ability to make bridges. And I'm carrying that now. Did I take them on any orders? Maybe I missed it. I picked up some stuff, but... Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. I've also found if you start to see Sam lose his balance uh, in any one direction, just let go of the left analog stick and stop him from moving forward, um, and then input your left and right trigger buttons as needed. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. And he usually stabilizes a lot easier. Let go of that forward momentum as he starts to fall forward. Alright, so I know I got a couple of uh, PCCs, I think. Yeah, I need to take on some orders. Alright, power supply unit delivery, wind farm, construction, bridge. That one, and then the power supply. This order involves a lot of cargo. Completing it on foot may prove difficult. Accept it regardless. Um, so that was 
construct a was that construct a bridge or a power supply unit? Um, okay, let's see what it looks like. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Heck yeah. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Metals needs 800 metals. I guess that's where I would be recycling it. Um, Alright, so PCC level... I have uh, 1,470 metals. Container spray, bridges, boots, I've already got that. Let's do a container repair spray. Let's make... Okay, let's make another one. Um, I've already got some PCCs. I need I do need to make some ladders. Alright, so I am going to lose all those materials now at the bottom, chiral crystals, resins, and metals. Still gives me plenty to complete a bridge. Alright, so we're gonna load all of that. And I'm at 124.3. Um, that's going to take me up. It's going to take me way too much. So let me... I know this is a lot of stuff, but I'm just kind of seeing what's uh, what's available here. Cargo shelf, climbing anchor. I'm gonna go ahead and carry that. All right, so what I've carried on my back, climbing anchors. These are gonna take off some weight. I don't know if, I don't need climbing anchors right now. I've got mule boots, which I don't need right now. Metals container repair spray. Metals container repair spray. I've already got a couple of those. Metals I'm going to need in order to build the bridge. Um, let's see here. Attached to the suit, metals, PCC climbing anchor. Let's take the climbing anchor off. Um, only bring one of those. I've got a couple of metals. Alright, and then what's on the cargo shelf, take those off. Alright, this is the stuff I'm going to take off of me. And then I'm going to move to private locker. Alright, so now I'm at 130.3 resins. Alright, so I've got 200, 400, 600, 650. I think I need resins right now. Power supply unit is something that I need to deliver to the uh, station. Climbing anchor, PCC. Let's get one of the rid of one of those PCCs. Let's place them in the locker. Right, that takes me to 122.3. But I have the primary things that I need. All right, let's confirm that. Alright, so the way that I have the weight Order distributed. Alright, so power supply, delivery to the wind farm, and construct a bridge. Alright, and the way that I have everything distributed on a SAM right now, I've got some heavy things at the top and lighter things at the bottom. So I'm going to menu here, go over to the left, go to cargo, and I'm going to adjust. I could auto arrange it, or you can down or offload everything. So let me show you a quick uh, way to offload everything. So I'm going to select all of this. 
attached to the suit, on the tool rack, on the belt clip, and what I have it clipped, I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to hit the X button, and I'm going to offload it all. So now I've got 0 0.4 kilograms uh, that I'm carrying. Now I want to see this heavier stuff here. Um, you can see the weight uh, over on the far right. So I've got uh, my heavy stuff that I want to put on the bottom. So I'm going to select that there and carry it on the back. And I'm going to take this other heavy metals, um, carry that on the back. And I'm going to select these two metals and then these two metals here. I'm going to select those. So you can see how it distribu distributes it based on how I selected it. Um, well, let's go ahead and back off that. So I'm just going to go to the heavier. So let's uh, deselect the small guys. Uh, deselect this one and then put that one there. And then that one can go there. And then these two metals that I need, I'll select those two. Those two go up there, so they're distributed well. And I want to get uh, some of the, let's see. I do want to bring a ladder and one climbing anchor. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, put that there. And then this container, I'm starting to get to the smaller things, the 5.0s. That there. And this one, now I want to distribute some stuff on my arm. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to uh, attach it to the tool rack, attach to the suit. Uh, let's see here. All right, so it attaches it there. I can decide you know, where I want to put it. I can distribute it on my legs left, right, a hip, um, put that there, let's take the other PCC and put it on my other leg, and attach to the suit, and then we'll put it over here on that leg, distributing the weight, and then I'm going to put my mule boots, I'm going to attach it to the boot clip, um, then I'm going to take the bridge boots, which, uh, sorry, that's what I'm, uh, Those are the bridge bits over there. I'm going to put that on my uh, shoulder there. And then I'm going to take the container spray and I'm going to attach it to my chute on the other arm. Bam. I'm distributing the weight and I'm at 122. And that is confirmed. So that's another weight distribution. Now everything should be fairly uh, well distributed. It doesn't have any gaps in it. And I did that without the auto arrange. So let's go ahead and move out. Now I'm trying to build a bridge. Um, so there as I started to kind of lean to the left or the right, I mean, I've got some heavy stuff on me. So as long as I'm pressing straight forward and I don't push left or right, um, his momentum will kind of keep him moving forward okay, without Sam. becoming unstable. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. Foundation should already be in place. And I'm going to get rid of a lot of this we'll to build that bridge anyway. There should be a terminal nearby. All right, and I'm turning slightly, areas. and you can see how it's kind of toppling. If he starts to topple, just let go of the forward uh, momentum there. Or let go of the left analog stick from pressing forward. And uh, he should be able to stabilize himself. Restrictions lifted. All right, so a lot of this material I'm going to get ready to get rid of because I'm going to be building this bridge. Sam, looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Foundation. Yeah. All right, so how do I access? 
access the bridge. Okay, so it says structure menu. I hit the start button. I've come up on the structure menu. And then manage cargo. Place marker. Destination bridge construction site. Okay, so how do I access the structure menu? Usually I'll get the... Um, the square button that lets me access like terminals but I'm not getting the, the prompts I'm getting a structure menu the options button so I'm pressing that button and I'm not seeing <coughs> How to? Huh. Let's see here. So almost as if I was supposed to build this myself, but so I need 800 or 400 more to complete it. Um, how do I add my materials to it? All right. Um, Let's go over here to the orders. Let's do bridge construction. Close distribute west. Uh, build a bridge at the designated construction site, which I'm at. Um, in progress. Delivered. Tilt. Map. Orders. Cargo. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Feel free to submit junk like that to bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do. Okay, so let's select it. And do I offload it? And it just happens to. All right, let me offload it. didn't seem to do anything. Um, so I've got that there. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it says I'm supposed to uh, deliver these items. But I'm unable to deliver the items. So, little bit confused there. Yeah, Sam's a little bit tired. Um, maybe I need to go up more? I need to go to the other side. So, let me be 100% sure here. So the order is from Die Hardman. It was built by Hancock, which sounds to me like an NPC. Normally I get a destination bridge construction site. This just lets me place markers. Those are Bridge Foundation. Yeah, how do I give you, give this bridge my resources? Do I have to go under it? All right, let me go over there. I mean, there's a marker there, but I thought that was just for the space. All right, let me, I don't know why I'd have to walk over here to this side, but let's, let's check it. It's where my... Too close. Me 
least walking around. And uh, BB's upset. I know, I know. I need to go and get my cargo. It looks like the cargo even kind of starts to stay close to the uh, edges here. I need to catch it. Looks like Sam himself is not, uh, doesn't have a lot of energy. He's not running. He's walking extremely slow. <laughs> Need you to, there you go, Sam. Come on, pick up the pace. Okay, so the only thing I'm trying to figure out is how in the heck do I... add materials to this bridge. Because it tells me to access the bridge to offer some of the supplies that I have, which they gave me as part of this mission. But then when I get to the bridge, I don't have the ability to access it by pressing the square button, which is normally what I do. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. <coughs> Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain with weapons restrictions lifted. All right, that's about it I'm going to do for today, and I will check you guys uh, on the next video, and we'll figure out this bridge. All right, catch you later.